This week's big review is from Private Labs and it's Scream 3 Eleatoric FX and this is the brass version. There will soon be a fourth version of this library along which will concentrate on woodwind effects and you'll be able to get these two as a bundle together but here I'm just reviewing the brass version. This runs in the full version of Contact and contains brass ensemble clusters, risers, rips, trills and a whole host of other effects. There's 26 NKI files here in total and you've got five mic positions. That's Decatree, Mid-Hall, Spots 1 and 2 and also a vintage mic which I'll come on to a bit later. On the interface 2 you've got attack and release controls, the mod wheel controls the sample offset and the pitch bend wheel controls the speed of the playback. Most of the contact presets have two different types of samples recorded here. There's a more softly played version and a louder version. And which one of those you get depends on the velocity that you play. So with this library there's a lot to like. You've got a great sounding hall that these brass have been recorded in. It's really expansive, the ambience is good. Also the actual number of effects and variety is very good as well. The mic positions are useful. I'll give a special mention to the vintage mic position. It's an unusual sound, not something that you're going to use every day. But if I were to be putting together kind of 1930s or 40s sounding old Hollywood kind of grand scores, that would be very useful in that context. I do have to let you know that there's not many options for customization of the sounds beyond what you've got on the interface itself, which is limited. Uh, there's the microphone selection and playback speed and also the mod wheel uh, option for cutting into the samples. It would have been nice to have some of the more rhythmic samples tempo synced as well, uh, since trying to line these up with the pitch wheel is a little bit awkward. To change the pitch you have to adjust the tuning of the whole contact instrument which isn't ideal, perhaps that could have been done with a series of key switches instead. Also some samples have very noticeable player and hall noises, a few kind of squeaks and chair shuffles and that sort of thing, perhaps these could have been ironed out too. But overall I have to say that Scream 3 Brass is a decent purchase if you're looking for kind of unusual brass effects. Not a lot of companies are doing libraries in this vein, so it's interesting that private labs have decided to go down this route. Uh, it's certainly something which they seem to be getting better and better at. Thank you so much for watching, that's just a small taste of the Samplecast, a weekly podcast and YouTube show for sample library geeks and plug-in enthusiasts. You can find out more information at thesamplecast.com don't forget to subscribe.